he loved the Marines. Nothing was as good as that. And when he went in, he went in uh, several different places. He still loved it. After the boot camp, he still loved it. And when he was based at Cherry Point, he was doing real great. They let him go to college as well as do his service. And his gunny sergeant at the time came up and talked to us after the accident and told us what a great guy he was. He said I could leave and when I get back, the work was done and done right. Even afterwards, after the accident and different people would say something and he would say, once a Marine, always a Marine. The Bay Pines VA healthcare system allows for a lot of non-institutional care programs for our veterans. We have the Home and Base Community Care Program where we're an interdisciplinary team that goes into the home of the veterans to provide primary care services. And we also offer ancillary or support services like the Homemaker Home Health Aid Program the in-home respite program and the community adult daycare program along with the veteran directed home and community based care program. What these services do is they really support veterans who are at risk for nursing home placement and it allows them to stay in their home which is ultimately the goal of the veteran and the caregiver. <laughs> My first primary role is to take care of the veteran, of course, uh, and, and all his needs that as a case manager has to do, and that's make sure the medication is ordered, uh, make sure the, that he has all the needs to, to uh, have the caregiver take care of him. The second most important is to take care of the caregivers. The caregiver is the most important, because if you take care of the caregivers, you're taking care of the veteran. And I feel that it's very important that we support the caregivers so they can help these veterans heal. And Rosa's our main, I guess you would say, spoke person, because she's the, usually the first one I call. And like I tell her, you can't retire, no way. Because, you know, she's been there for us with all these, it was my husband sick and passing. And we wouldn't have been able to do it without the home health unit. Because do you know how hard it is to get things done if you can't be right there all the time? And I couldn't. I couldn't leave him and go, you know, just try to get things done at the hospital. I call them and they take care of him. They take care of his travel. And if he needs something done, they get a hold of the doctors for us and get him right in. We don't have to stand in line and wait. Well, I, th I feel like every member of the family here supports James and uh, they all chip in and they help his mother to take care of him. And they personally take care, do personal care for him themselves. And um, as far as the, our team helping out, um, I um, just don't think it would be possible for them. You know, with, uh, James has had a lot of serious illnesses occur for him and Rosa has really just been right on the ball with that and I think if they didn't have us here and in particular Rosa but with us here uh, they would have had to deal with getting him to the hospital and getting him to the right person and the right care and because we know our patients so well we see them more more frequently, and we know them, we can usually get them the help they need much quicker and, and avoid a lot of catastrophes, a lot of hospitalizations. Having James in the home living with us is important because I don't think I could take it because even when I go someplace sometimes and I know I got nurses here and everything, it's like, I hope everything's okay, you know? Even when I get to go, I don't go far. I think Costco's as far as I've been. <laughs> and when he's in the hospital at Bay Pines, we feel safe there because he's always had good care there. And I can tell you right now, Bay Pines is the best for his care, for the 
the way the doctors are with us and everything, Bay Pines is the best.